Hello everyone. Today I am Rishabh Bhardwaj, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Department, taking the lecture of Automobile Engineering. Today we will learn about the brakes. As you know, the brakes is the very critical component of an automobile. Any vehicle without the brake is nothing. The brakes are the necessary or and the mandatory component by which which are installed in the automobile vehicle. It is a critical and A class component by which we have to face and we have to design and think and install this component in such a way that the failure or will not be happen in the automobile if the brake fails directly uh, directly the uh, directly the phases that have to face the driver that will be the injury as well as to the death that's why the, this component is known as the very critical and the a class uh, component let's start with the the content which will be covered today in this lecture that will be the brake and their types second the stopping times and the distance of the braking efficiency third the brake drums and the liners third the theory of shoe brakes fifth the determination of brake torque sixth disc brakes and seventh we'll, we will discuss about the classification of brakes in which we will discuss about hydraulic brakes mechanical brakes servo brakes power assisted brakes air brakes exhaust brakes and retarded brakes and after that we will come to the topic that will be the layout and the details of the com of their components of the brake let's start with the introduction as we all know that the brakes are the mechanical devices uses for the retarding the motion of the vehicle either it will uh, they are using uh, they are used generally for retarding the motion of the vehicle as well as to stop the mo stop the motion of the vehicle or to be uh, to be uh, to get the vehicle in a steady state the brakes are also used to stop the vehicle quickly within the shortest or the short distance the brakes are the used to hold the vehicle at the rest on the inclined road against the pull of the gravity next we will discuss about the construction of the vehicle or construction of the vehicle brakes the brake action start as the brake pedal is depressed two sets of member constitute the brake of every vehicle one member is directly connected to the axle shaft and thus it become a rotating member the second member is attached to the frame or axle housing and thus it act as a stationary member the brake works as a causing friction between two rotati rotating member and the disc or drum that turns with the road, road wheels the friction produces the force required to slow down the vehicle by means of friction the brake converts the power of the momentum of the vehicle into heat energy the heat produced disappears in the air around the brakes this is the construction of the brake by which we are able to understand how the how the brakes will come into the play or in the action now this is the different arrangement of the braking of rotating wheel can be seen in this figure 
uh, first we have a break we have a rim by which we are uh, in which the pedal pedal is hand operated and the brake shoe will will in uh, will be in contact with wheel outside from the wheel that will be the external con contacting area in this while we uh, while we move the handle the brake shoe will get uh, get contact with the wheel rim and retard uh, the friction will cause a retardation motion in the in the figure b we have a drum brake that will be the inside brake in which a drum is a drum or a circular circular surface in uh, connected to the rim and inside the inside the drum we have a brake pads or brake shoe in which when we press the pedal the drum the drum the drum brakes uh, the the drum brakes in which the brake shoes are uh, brake shoes or the friction linings are available inside the drum will get expanded and attached to the drum surface from the inside by which the friction will cause and the retardation of the of the vehicle will get into the action they are used in the wagon wheels brake used in a rail wagons external contacting contacting brake is used in rail wagons and internal expanding brake brake uh, shoe brakes is usually intensively in automobile vehicles let's discuss the principle of the brake a moving vehicle possesses kinetic energy that is converted into heat energy by the application of brakes this heat is transferred to the surrounding air in the simplest form a brake comprises a stationary brake shoe with a friction lining on it and a brake drum the road wheel is fixed to the rotating brake drum the driver applies force on the brake pedal that that gets amplified and pushes the stationary shoe to make contact with the brake drum and stops its rotation due to the friction resistance the heat generated due to braking action is proportional to the force that bring the shoe in contact with the drum next the topic which will be cover that will be the purpose of the brake as we discuss the principle of the brake now the next thing is the purpose of the brake why should we use the brakes for the main purpose of fitting brakes on an automobile vehicle are that in emergency in emergency the vehicle bring to the rest at the shortest distance and to control the vehicle when it is in the hills the brakes are been used to keep the vehicle in desired position after bringing it in complete rest when there is no driver in the automobile to fulfill the about these uh, about these needs two independent braking system are provided in the vehicle first is the service brake and second is the emergency brake two types of braking systems are required in the system the first is service brake service brake which operate operated by the foot pedal in general during the regular operation emergency brake which is operated by the hand lever while parking in the 
while parking the vehicle. Next, we will discuss about the requirement requirements of the brake. In the requirements of the brake, first, brakes in general are required to slow or stop or hold the vehicle and convert it the kinetic energy into motion into heat and then dissipates the heat. First, the application of brake should bring the vehicle to the relative quick to stop or any type of road wet, dry, even and uneven, up or downhill. This, is ha this has to be achieved at any speed, laden or un unladen vehicle. A separate mechanical brake is required to hold the vehicle in position on the gradient. The braking system component must require minimum maintenance. The pedal effort required to produce maximum deacceleration due to due or should be minimum and should not vary the condition of the road. And the braking system should allow minimum time between the application of pedal effort and the actual brake effort on the drum. The braking action should not involve any noise or drift the vehicle away from the desired path. Provision for the quick heat dissipation must be incorporate, incorporated. A secondary brake system must be incorporated should be the primary braking system fail. Next we will discuss about the types of brakes. Today in the types of brakes we will discuss about the first is the drum brake and secondary that is the disc brake. Let's start to start it with the drum brake. The drum brake could be of two types. First the internal expanding and second will be the external expanding. The internal expanding brakes have brake shoe contained within the brake drums and expand outward to make contacts with rotating drum. Whereas the expand, external expanding brakes contract to make contact with the rotating drum. This is the figure of the brake drum in which first uh, number one that is the brake drum second second is a cam third third is the friction lining fourth returning spring fifth anchor pin sixth fixed wheel cylinder seventh is fixed wheel cil uh, again the fixed wheel cil cylinder or shoe adjuster uh, now the drum is fixed with the wheel and with the center with the center and uh, fixed wheel cylinder we have installed two brake uh, brake shoes on which the friction line will present over it when we push the pedal the cam allow the brake pedal uh, brakes to expand by which the friction line in get contact with the drum and make a friction and able to retard the vehicle or take the action to stop the vehicle. When we release the uh, pedal, the spring, returning spring will automatically contract and return back the friction uh, or friction or the brake pads to its initial position. 
ब्रेक ड्रम मटीरियल दिस इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी क्रिटिकल मटीरियल बाई विच इट हैज बिन फॉर्म एट द ब्रेक ड्रम्स आर मेड ऑफ निकल आयरन कास्टिंग दिस मेटल गिवस ऑप्टिम रेट ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर एंड प्रोवाइड्स आ एंटीवियर क्वालिटीज स्कूटर एंड मोटरसाइकिल ब्रेक ड्रम्स आर मेड ऑफ कास्ट एल्यूमिनियम विद अ बॉन्डेड कास्ट आयरन लाइन द लाइनिंग्स हैव हाई टेम्परेचर ऑफ थ्री फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस विदाउट डिस्टॉशन एंड मेड टू ऑप्सेस्ट्रो बेस्ड मटीरियल हैविंग अ हाई कॉफिशियंट कॉफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दैट इज द पॉइंट फोर द डिफरेंट लाइनिंग मटीरियल्स आर मोल्डेड पल्प कंप्रेस्ड फाइब फैब्रिक एंड वोवेन नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द डिस्क ब्रेक फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज द कनेक्टिंग ट्यूब द सेकेंड सिलेंडर एंड पिस्टन फ्रिक्शन पैड हाइड्रोलिक फ्लूड ब्रेक डिस्क मास्टर सिलेंडर एंड अ कैलिपर फर्स्ट फिगर इन द फर्स्ट फिगर यू कैन सी दिस इज द रिलीज पोजिशन एंड सेकेंड इज द अप्लाइड पोजिशन हाउ इज इट वर्क वेन द driver push the pedal the fluid inside uh, inside the connecting tubes will make pressure to uh, towards the master cylinder and master cylinder provides the force to the uh, other connections by which we are able to push the calipers in which the friction or brake pads are mounted over there which holds or make pressure to the disc plate and the vehicle get stopped or get retarded during the braking system when we released the pressure will get decreased and again the the caliper will be uh, caliper or the piston will move to its initial position the main component of the disc brakes are the first disc second calipers and third is the brake pads what is disc it is made up of high grade of grey cast iron having pyrolytic structure to give better wear resistance property this disc which rotates the car wheels is efficiently cooled as most of the area lines exposed second we have a caliper the caliper are of v shaped type and are in two halves each half has a pad bonded to the steel plate a steel piston and a brake cylinder housing bolted together Bo- both these halves are hydraulic hydraulic hydro- hydraulically linked to that equal pressure may be applied on the pad through a floating piston hydraulic pressure is applied only only one side of the piston next we have a friction pads these are made up of asbestos fiber and metal oxide fillers bonded with organic compounds each each pad is fixed to a steel plate that has to take torque during braking onto the caliper the pads may be the square rectangular oval or segmental in shape 
the size of the piston is made the same as that of pads to avoid noise during the braking. The rubber steeling rings prevent dust and moisture to enter the piston housing. Let's discuss how the disc brake works. As we had discussed the earlier during we have uh, we have seen the figure when the driver applied pressure on the brake pedal, the hydraulic pressure pushes the piston out there housing. The piston in turn pressing the brake pads against the moving disc faces and causing friction and hence slowing it down. The hydraulic pressure is equally applied by the hydraulic fluid to the floating piston on either side. When the driver takes its foot off the brake pedal hydraulic pressure on the friction pads is released. The piston moves inward and breaks their contact within the disc. Let's discuss the advantages of disc brake over the drum brake. The disc brake provides better stability since this have uniform pressure distribution over the pads than that of the brake lining in the case of drum brake. It increases the temperature and it doesn't affect the disc pads much compared to the brake linings of the brake drums. The design of the brake adjuster becomes simple because when hot the disc expands towards the pad causing no loss in pedal travel. Next is the maintenance and the repairs of disc brakes is quite easy as compared to the brake drums. When we talk about the repair or the maintenance if the brake drum distorted or get need maintenance the complete drum has to be changed as it go, as the linings on the drums will be present and the, from by which we are not able to make brakes completely uh, in the disc brake we don't ha we don't need to have to replace the disc only the br uh, brake pads are required to change uh, if we're talking about the disadvantages of the brakes the disc brake assembles are costlier than the drum brake and the pad wear off faster than to the brake shoe lining of drum brake disc brake have higher brake pressures then the complete protection to the disc from road out uh, uh, re residue is provided with great difficulty. The high temperature operation of disc brake cause evaporation of the brake fu fluid and weakening of seal. In the case of car fitted with disc brake, an external servo mechanism is required because of having two self energizing effort, effect. Such an arrangement is not required in cars having drum brakes. And the hand brakes can be installed on drum brakes because these have self energizing effect. Disc brake offer difficulties in installing hand brakes. This lecture has ended with the knowledge that provided during the lecture that is the the difference between the disc and the drum brake and how the disc and the drum brake works and what are the their efficiencies and the requirement and the purpose of the brake and 
why we need a brake in automobile and why we are considering it a it very important component thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one